A warm greeting. Today is Saturday, July 19, 2025. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia speaking. In today's video, I will be talking about the first tropical wave with development probabilities between the Caribbean and Africa for this hurricane season, which was highlighted last night with probabilities of cyclonic development as it moves west-northwest. Eventually, this tropical wave will reach sectors of the eastern Caribbean where it should bring an increase in precipitation. And in this video, I will talk about how the conditions for development are in this area and why the window for cyclonic development is about 72 hours. I will also talk about the rainfall totals it could bring across the eastern Caribbean by the end of next week. Let's zoom in on the infrared satellite image showing the tropical wave. This area is interacting with the intertropical convergence zone, which is currently helping maintain the development of some thunderstorms, although they remain disorganized. However, in the images from early this morning, we see an area of concentrated thunderstorms, and this is where a low pressure could develop with probabilities of cyclonic development as it moves west-northwest. At 2 a.m., the National Hurricane Center increased to 10% the probabilities of cyclonic development during the next 48 hours, and to 20% the probabilities of development during the next 7 days. But it is important to note that the area of possible development of a tropical depression is quite small, which suggests that the actual window for development is approximately 72 hours. And you can see that it does not extend into the Caribbean, as eventually, by the middle and end of next week, conditions in this area will not be favorable for development or strengthening. And although it is still a bit early to see cyclonic development in this area so early in the season, if we look at data from the past 10 years, some tropical storms and hurricanes have developed precisely in this area. And this includes Hurricane Barrel, which managed to be a Category 5 hurricane last year. However, fortunately, the atmospheric conditions at this time are not favorable for this system to strengthen into something dangerous. This window for possible cyclonic development is largely due to a Kelvin wave that will be crossing through the Caribbean Sea and the Atlantic. And this Kelvin wave will leave some more favorable conditions for cyclonic development, and it remains to be seen if the tropical wave will take advantage of these conditions to perhaps develop into a tropical depression or a weak tropical storm. On the other hand, sea surface temperatures in the main cyclonic development region have been warming up quite a bit in recent weeks, and currently the area has above normal sea surface temperatures. And although the Kelvin wave and the warm ocean temperatures can be a favorable factor for development, on the other hand, we have other elements that would not favor significant development. The first is that during the next week, the tropical Atlantic area will be influenced by dry air, which is illustrated in brown colors. In this image, as you may know, dry air makes the formation of tropical cyclones difficult because it can interfere with circulation and hinder the formation of thunderstorms along the wave axis a very important factor that these systems need to become tropical cyclones and to strengthen. This dry air will also be associated with some Saharan dust moving through the region, and this, in combination with wind shear that will be established from the southwest in the eastern Caribbean, will create really unfavorable conditions for it to reach the Caribbean Sea as a tropical cyclone. So, for this reason, I mentioned that the opportunity for development seems to be about 72 hours, but once the system crosses longitude 50 degrees west, it will find very unfavorable conditions to continue organizing. Let's see what the projections of the global models show. Let's start with the American model. In the latest projection, it has that during Sunday night or early Monday, a tropical depression could develop. However, starting Tuesday and Wednesday, the conditions could cause it to dissipate into a tropical wave, and the model projects that it will reach the Eastern Caribbean between Wednesday and Thursday as a tropical wave. So, according to this model and as we see in this projection of the infrared satellite image, in about 40 to 42 hours is when a tropical depression or weak tropical storm might form. On the other hand, we also have the projection of the European model. In general, it matches the American model. It has perhaps a tropical depression or weak tropical storm forming during Sunday night or early Monday. And eventually, as it approaches the Caribbean, it could face unfavorable conditions and weaken before reaching the Lesser Antilles. In the latest run, the model projects that it will arrive as a tropical wave or perhaps a tropical depression during Thursday morning, and then continue its path toward the south of Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic as a tropical wave. The German model in the latest run amplifies the tropical wave but eventually keeps it quite weak, without developing into a tropical depression or tropical storm, and reaching the Lesser Antilles during Wednesday night or early Thursday morning. Meanwhile, the UK model does not develop a tropical depression and also has a tropical wave moving over the eastern Caribbean Sea between Thursday and Friday. So it is clear why the probabilities for development remain low at the moment. In fact, I think the National Hurricane Center will keep the probabilities of development at 20% in the tropical outlook that they will issue at 8 a.m. This also aligns with what the projections of the ensemble members of the American model show, 
where between 20% to 30% of them perhaps develop a tropical depression, but eventually, by mid and late week, all of them dissipate the system into a tropical wave. Meanwhile, the members of the European model, some of them also develop a tropical depression or perhaps a weak tropical storm as it approaches the Caribbean Sea. But between Thursday and Friday, the vast majority dissipate the possible cyclone before it reaches the arc of the Lesser Antilles. So, for now, what we project is that during the next 48 hours, the tropical wave could amplify and have a little cyclonic development. A tropical depression or tropical storm may form between Sunday and Monday. And for now, it is expected that as it approaches the Caribbean, dry air and wind shear will cause it to weaken before reaching the Lesser Antilles. So it seems that eventually, this will simply be a rain event for the Lesser Antilles Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, and the Dominican Republic, where between Thursday and Saturday some rainfall accumulations are expected to be between 2 to 4 inches or between 50 to 75 millimeters in total. So we will be attentive to the potential for some localized flooding by the end of next week and also to any changes that occur in the forecast. Although for now, I repeat, it is not expected to reach the Eastern Caribbean as a tropical cyclone. Still, it is important to stay tuned for updates in the forecast. For this reason, I ask you to like this video and subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to click on the bell so you receive notifications when I record new videos. If necessary, I will record an update during the afternoon or night today. See you later.